Hello, so this is a quick update video on uh, some of the fixes I've been putting into Flotelic. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate a problem that I found. So as, as part of my mission, I want to be able to use it as my second brain. And I've got this criteria. Will it allow me to do that? And as I started writing out, specking out my second brain areas, I very quickly realized that as I'm starting to type, there's a real performance lag. And I realized, OK, so when you get about 200 plus uh, notes in here, the performance is really starting to um, uh, tank, you know, dwindle there. So um, so I went back and I uh, started looking at how I've been building the app and how, um, so I'm using React and uh, basically what was happening is this sidebar here was doing a lot of computation in the render loop um, and when I modified this, it was triggering a re-render down here and uh, it was basically quite heavyweight per keystroke. So I've managed to fix this. Um, I've basically created a, a separate uh, manager that uh, allows individual things to subscribe to the thing they want to update. So this, this item here will subscribe to this version of the note, which means it doesn't re-render the list and things like that. So real optimizations. And the idea is that you should be able to get to thousands. So I've got a version of this now that I'm going to test. I've not tested this, but I'm going to see what happens. There's a repo that has 10,000 markdown files. They're just gibberish, but it will highlight whether we are in a good place or a bad place with performance. So I'm going to take this. I've not done this before. I'm going to drag it. My machine is not liking that. Uh, come on. It's really lagging. This is just the Mac OS that's lagging. Maybe, maybe doing 10,000 at once. Um, I can't see the overlay um, triggering, but I'm just going to drop it and see what happens. Did it reject that? All right. Uh, maybe maybe that's too many. Let's do... Let's do a thousand at a time or something. Oh, no, that's... Out. Oh, you can see, you can see it's sort of like the browsers, the browsers struggling here. So if you were going to import that many, many things, I don't think you would probably want to do it like that. Let's, um, let's refresh this and see if this comes back. So I don't think this is an app issue. I think this is possibly a browser issue. It could be an app issue. Right. Oh, come on. What's it doing? Yeah. Right, Chrome thinks I'm still dragging things over. My CPU has has ramped, so I'm just gonna just gonna kill Chrome for a second. Bring that back. Right, lesson learned. If you're gonna drag lots of files in, you probably don't uh, app name. Oh, there's uh, app flip app flip helic main there we go this is my development version uh, that runs in the pipeline um, basically uh, once i'm happy with this i can push this to the production branch and it will will get deployed right let's try this again we'll just do the a's a two something like that oh that'll do all right that's what that does drag it over so 800 notes, right? So we get the, the overlay there, drop that in, and then it's it's now importing all those notes. Uh, if I wanted to, uh, so if you're gonna if you're gonna be putting 10,000 notes in, then I would probably recommend that you uh, do it in batches. Don't do the whole lot. Uh, shame that didn't work. Maybe Firefox would have worked a bit better with that. But uh, so so basically, what this is doing is taking those Markdown files. It is creating notes in Flotelic of that. Um, It'll inspect it, take the headers out, format those. Uh, it doesn't do an awful lot of formatting at the moment, but uh, that will improve over time, uh, getting better support for Markdown um, uh, and rendering the prettiness of Markdown in line in the editors. So, uh, and then once this is in, we'll just do the same test. We'll try just typing and seeing if we get any lag now that we've got, well, 800. So this is four times the number of notes that I've tested previously. So if this sort of has a linear style performance, then uh, that's a good place to be in really. Right. And we are done. Right. So 
these are all the notes. Um, so while they had particular, uh, oh, interesting. And it's not showing them. Refresh. Okay, so a little bug in there to show why something did, but assuming I can fix why it didn't um, pick up the fact that they existed after importing. And let's, let's give it a go. Let's what happens if I. So see very quickly the performance of editing, editing the notes, and let's see what happens if I double tap and search for, say, Remarkable, R-E-M-A-R-K, maybe Remarkable, then the Remarkable, there we go, link to it, click through, click back. So this, other than that little hiccup uh, that needed a refresh to why it didn't import, that's probably just a bug, uh, this actually seems to be quite, quite good. So if I do this, updates there, and then let's uh, soon be made. Very soon made. Oh, didn't mean that. Oh, it doesn't matter. So I think this is a really good place now. Um, so we've got over 800 notes and I can't, I can't notice any lag now in, in the editing like I was getting before. So I think I've, I've solved this problem. Um, obviously discovered a bug, but hey, you know, that's, that's the nature of the game. It uh, doesn't seem like a showstopper bug. just need a bit of a refresh after a massive import. Um, and uh, yeah, don't drag 10,000 files into the browser in any one go. Um, I will probably try and get the numbers up to 10,000 in my testing and just see uh, see that there are no issues creeping up. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, thank you.